Hey guys, it's me, AD Summer from 4. Today, guys, we're back for a Europa Conference League semifinal predictions, guys. And today, guys, we have two amazing semifinal matches in store for us. And today, we'll be giving you guys my preview and predictions for which team will make it to the final. Now, let's go ahead and start with the first game we have here is Leicester City versus Roma. This is a semifinal that I'm more intrigued for. Sorry to say to Marseille versus Bayern, that is a good one, but I think Leicester versus Roma is more interesting. I think it's a more balanced occasion. And. Let's be real, guys. Both teams have been disappointing this season in their own domestic leagues. Like, I think Leicester City, they're around mid-table. Roma, they're just about in the precedence of, like, top six. But, like, I think you would expect so much more from both these teams because we know both these teams are, like, the credentials are so much higher, you know? And they have both two, two great managers. you got Brandon Rodgers and Jose Mourinho. And I think both of these managers could say that if they are to win this conference league, it would add so much to the club because, you know, I don't think either of these teams have ever won any European trophies in their history. So it'd be very nice to add a European trophy to their history, you know. And I just think that for me, the intriguing part about this match is it's going to be about how the two teams match up. Because I'll be honest with you guys, I'm looking at this squad that Roma have. It's not as good as Leicester. Roma just don't have the players that Leicester have. Roma, they got some, they have some decent players like Zanilo is decent, Abraham is decent. And obviously you have um, Smalling as well. Patricio as well, but the thing about Roma is that those players are just not as good as Leicester. Leicester just City have just so much better players. You know, you have um, Schmeichel, uh, then you have um, Iannaccio, then you have Pascandaka, Soyanshu, Fofana, Harvey Barnes, Ricardo Pereira, Tielemans. It's a very much insane team. The only concern I have with Leicester, though, is that the injuries. Who The injuries could really hurt Leicester. And I think that's really been the reason why they've been struggling so much this season is because the injuries have had to key players. You know, especially to Ndidi and Fofana. I think those two injured players have really, really hurt Leicester City's chances. And I think if those two players hadn't been injured, I think Leicester City would have had a better season. They wouldn't be this bad right now. You know, they would be amongst the top six, in my opinion. Now, the thing that Roma have that Leicester don't have is they have a very good manager. A Jose Reed. Make it what you say, what you will. Uh, Jose Mourinho is still a good manager. Now, is he as good as he used to be at Real Madrid? Probably not, but he's still a decent manager. You know, he won United the Europa League. You look at that squad that United had at the time. It was very, very poor. And you could argue that the squad that United have now is better than that squad. But this squad wasn't able to win the Europa League last season. So, you know, it just shows how levels could be that a manager could just make a difference, you know. And that's the beauty about it, is that it's difficult to call for this one. Because this one's almost like, kind of like 50-50 in my opinion. I am going to go with um, Leicester City to prevail on this one. I think Leicester City do have the better players and they have the better squad. But let me go in and check something real quickly before I make a prediction. Um, because I want to see uh, where both games are going to take place. Like the first leg, where is that going to take place? So as you guys can see right here. Leicester City, oh, they played the first leg at home and second leg on the road. That could give Roma a huge advantage then. But regardless, guys, I still think Leicester will pull through. I think Leicester will pull through. I think Leicester City have the better team, as I said. Roma, they have really the only the better manager, in my opinion. That could be enough. But as I said, guys, generally speaking, it's about the team that's a better team. And I feel like Leicester City should make it. So, But, um, you know, Roma, I would like to see Roma make it too. Like, personally, for me... I don't really have any preferences between the two, but I am. I think Leicester City should win this. So I'm going to go Leicester City to beat Roma. Although, Will, I just want to mention this real quickly before we move on. Leicester City do tend to screw up a lot of the towards the late end of the season. So you know, let's see if that comes into fruition here. And then we have uh, Feyenoord versus Marseille. That's a very interesting one. That's a very, very interesting one in that the sense that Marseille are being playing against Feyenoord. Now remember, guys, Marseille have won the Champions League before. They're the only French team to have won the Champions League. And I look at the Feyenoord players they got. They got some decent players, like Sensatera is decent. Um, and then obviously you also have uh, Cole Bassett, and then Dessers as well, Reese Nelson, you know, Coco as well. Dude, this Feyenoord team has been amazing. You know, for them to reach the stage has been incredible. They knocked out some heavyweighters like Slavia Praha. They knocked out, I think they knocked out Partizan Belgrade. And it's just been incredible to see what they've done you know, to get to the stage. And, they're a very good attacking team. They love to score goals. Very, very good offensively. And for Marseille in particular, I think the issue for them is that while they do have a great squad, they have some great players like Guendouzi, 
Dimitri Payet, Conor Lopuense, then you have Mandanda, that's a very good goalkeeper, and then you got um, Jorge Sampoli there, they got some notable players. The issue with Marseille, though, might be, at least to me, is that I don't know who else is going to step up for them in these kind of massive games. Like, who else is step up than Dimitri Payet? And of course, Dimitri Payet's a good player. I'm not saying he isn't. But, like, who else is going to contribute as well other than him? Because you're going to need other players to step up. And to be fair to Marseille, they haven't really been properly challenged. Like, let's be real, guys. Hawk didn't really challenge them that much. I mean, they kind of did in the second leg, but they don't really have the quality to match them. Then you look at the, um, I think they played against, what was it, Corabe? I think was it the round of 16? Or was that the um, 32? I gotta, I don't remember if that's on my head, but I don't think Marseille have been as challenged as Feyenoord have been. That's the point that I'm trying to make. Let me just look at this fixtures real quick. So, yeah, they placed, uh, they placed, um, oh, Basel in round of 16. Okay, then they faced Corabeg in the, um, the playoffs. Okay, that makes sense. Round of 32, basically. So, you know, I'm just saying is that they haven't properly been challenged. And you could argue this would be their toughest path. So this definitely would be their toughest game. And they even struggled against, like, Galatasaray in the group stage of the Europa League. They even struggled against Lazio as well. So, you know, for Marseille in particular, I think they should make through. I think they should advance. But it's going to be very interesting because I think Feyenoord can give them a really good game. And I think Feyenoord could actually cause a lot more issues than many people would anticipate. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Feyenoord in the final. Because, like I said, guys. I don't think there's any like clear, clear favorites. Like I feel like both these semifinals are very evenly balanced, um, but I do believe Marseille should pull through. You know, because like the guys, they have the better players, they have the better team in my opinion, and I feel like Marseille the potential should be doing this. And you know, like I said, guys, if they could add a Conference League trophy, it could be very, very great for French football because French football, man, they really need a European trophy. Like it's been a long time since we've seen them win a trophy. So. If my predictions go as I predict, we would then have a Leicester City versus Marseille Europa Conference League final, which would be a great final, man. Which would be a great final indeed, and they'll be very interesting. Uh, but imagine this, guys. I just want to say this on a tangent. Imagine we get a Roma versus Marseille final. How crazy would that be? So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy um, this prediction video, guys. Comment down below your predictions down below. I'm really keen to see how these semifinals unfold. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe if you're new around here. Like this video if you did enjoy. Make sure you guys check out my mail class. The description below my Twitter, Discord, email, and Twitch. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.